literally not even left my house. I've just been sitting at home, playing with makeup, taking it off, putting it back on, <laughs> taking it off, putting it back on, and I don't even have a destination. I'm literally going nowhere. I just felt like playing with makeup. So I figured since I had makeup on, I might as well film this video. It is kind of a collective haul of the past few months I guess, maybe a month and a half, two months, I don't know, around there. Yeah, just a few bits and bobs that I picked up here and there, so let's get into it because I have a tendency to ramble. First, I went to MAC and I backed to MAC a few products and with that I got this lipstick which is Impassioned by MAC. Why did I get another bright pink? I don't know. I had the same thought myself once I left MAC, but what's done is done and I still love it. This is what it looks like. It is literally just a, a hot pink. It's a hot pink. I'm not going to pretend there's anything else to it. It's really beautiful. It's really creamy. It looks great. And I'll wear it a lot when it's springtime. Also didn't make season appropriate choices. My bad. Next, I went to Winners, picked up exactly one item, which is the item that I went to Winners to pick up, which is this CND sticky base coat. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I've only used it a couple times, but I can't say I noticed that much of a difference. But I'm also really hard on my nails, so when I have a few days to so just take it easy, I'm going to give it another whirl and see how I feel about it then. Next, I went to the drugstore and I picked up a liquid eyeliner. This is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. I am all about Essence recently. I just, they're, they're so cheap and so good. So I decided to pick this up. I think it was like $2.50 and it's so super fine. Like I don't even know if you can tell but it's really fine and it's pretty opaque. So $2.50 well spent there. Um, next I decided to hop over to Wet n Wild and I picked up this lipstick. One second, things are falling everywhere. I hopped over to Wet n Wild and I picked up this lipstick. And it is 918D. I think the color is called Cherry Bomb, I think. Um, and it's just like a really blackened plum. Blackened plummy red is what I'd say that color is. It's really beautiful if you use a red lip liner with it or a perp uh, uh, plummy lip liner. It, it's good with both lip liners. Just it's a good color. It's really vampy. And I'm all about that vamp in the winter time. So um, that's what that is right there. Gonna wipe my hand off. I don't know if I'm the only one who does this and let me know in the comments if any of you do this too. But I buy baby wipes. I don't buy makeup removing wipes because I never use those wipes for my face. Wipes don't touch my face. But the only reason I use those wipes is to take like swatches off my hand or when you're playing around with your makeup to like wipe your hand at the end of all the makeup. That's all that I use the wipes for so I just decided to buy baby wipes because it's like a buck fifty versus like seven bucks a pack for makeup removing wipes. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's weird. Whatever. I'm into it. So next I hopped on over to Revlon and I picked myself up one of these Color Burst Matte Balms. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I had a thought about this balm. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yes. Um, I was seeing these all over the blogs for quite a while. Finally came to Canada. And then I saw them in person and was like, don't know how down I am for them. I just, the colors, I, it, I'm in this weird place with lipstick right now where like, if a color doesn't really stand out to me as being unique, I just don't feel like purchasing it anymore. I have so many lipsticks, like I don't even have words for the amount of lipsticks and balms and stains I have. I just, I need to calm down with it. So now I'm a little bit more selective about which lip products I choose to purchase. Just a little bit, not too much. And this was the only color that really stood out to me. So it is the color Shameless, oh, Sassy Revlon. And it is just an awesome kind of lilac-y plummy color. And I can honestly say I have nothing like it in my collection. Looks like this. That was a big swatch. I really wanted you to see that. Look at it. It's really, really pretty. And at first I wore it and I was like, ooh, ah, ee, how do I feel about this? But I feel good about it. I just need to take a moment, wear it, 
own it and now I love it. Um, I love how creamy these are. Like, they're not ridiculously matte, but they're matte enough that they're going to stay placed for quite a few hours, but they're not drying at all. So maybe I should pick up a few more colors because the formula is different from other stuff that I own. So next I was watching Tati from Glam Life Guru. I always have such problems saying her YouTube name. Glam Life Guru. And she had been talking about these NYC uh, sparkle dust thingy bindibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibib
six dollar sweater and it came in like burgundy and blue and black I think so did I mention it was six dollars I featured a blog post that has this uh, sweater in it and I will link that down below so you can check out what it looks like on my persons next I went to Urban Outfitters and I purchased exactly one item and it was on sale for $20 and it's these shoes okay I know they look a little bit like it might be your grandpa style but that's what I like about it they're so ugly they're beautiful in a way do you know what I mean they just I like the gold I I like I like the the patent the shininess I like the color I even love it even more with big thick chunky socks I just the more ugly they are, the more I love them. So I'm really happy about those. I also featured those shoes on an outfit post on my blog. I'll link that down below too. Next from Target, I got two things. I got this dress, which is beautiful. It is a little black dress and it's kind of fit and flare and it's, I guess, kind of ribbed almost. And it's got this beautiful detailing at the shoulders where it's kind of like a mesh, like a little little strip of mesh on the shoulders right there and then on the other side as well and it carries on to the back just a little bit and it's just, it's a higher neckline and it's just a really flattering little black dress. I don't have a family appropriate little black dress, do you know what I mean? It's, um, I have a lot of tighter black dresses but I don't have anything that's kind of like Ooh, I could wear this to a classy dinner. So I figured I would buy this and it was $30 I think or $35. So thanks Target. Really all about it. The other item I bought from Target I'm actually wearing right now so I don't quite know how to show it to you. It's sweatpants. I bought green sweatpants from Target and I love them. They are the comfiest sweatpants I've ever owned. I've owned root sweatpants. I've owned sweatpants from God knows where. These these are the be-all and end-all of sweatpants. I just love them. They're, they're like beaver canoe sweatpants. I'm just gonna show you. Okay. 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 Uh, don't die. Okay. Can you see them? Can you see them? Do you see them? Uh, and then they're tapered in at the bottom like that. <laughs> Danger. Oh, hi. So yeah, I really love these sweatpants and I really want to buy them in multiple colors because that is how much I love these sweatpants. And last thing I bought is this hat and it, it is from Roots and it's pretty much my favorite thing I've purchased, I think. It's so great. It was pretty pricey. I mean, it was $40, which for a hat is pricey under my books. I don't know about you, but I mean, who can put a price on true love? Not I. So this is it and it's so floppy and I wanted to get into the beanie thing I did but this is just a little bit more me for winter cuz like Canadian winters you know no joke I need real warmth so I'll show you I'll show you what it looks like on my big head so that's what that looks like and I really like it I think it's really cute right so that is it. That is it for my haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. It means so much to me and I love that you guys keep checking in. It's awesome. You're the best. And let me know if you have any videos you want to see me do. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.